Welcome to Learning Bricks CAD. This lesson we are going to be exploring splines and ellipses. So one of the first things that we're going to do is zoom into the top left area of the drawing. And what we have here is a proposed park. And we need to use some splines and ellipses to define both the beach and swim areas. And then the pavilions and um, other spaces. So we're going to get started by selecting the spline command and selecting the first node followed by the second and then third and essentially what we're doing here is just connecting the dots. So you'll notice that as we select each node the spline actually passes directly through the node and this is because the fit tolerance is currently set to zero. As a result, every point we select, the spline will pass directly through that point. So what we're going to do here now is press enter to end the uh, point entry mode. And then for the starting tangent point, I'm going to press enter to accept the default. And for the tangent for the ending point, I'm going to press enter to accept the default. And then we can see the spline is created. Next, moving over, we'll switch over to the swim area layer. And again, we're going to repeat the command, but this time we're going to change the option that determines how closely the spline actually fits to those selected points. So here I've selected the first and now the second point. Once you have two points selected, you can then click the Fit Tolerance option on the Prompt menu. And let's set the Fit Tolerance to 45 and then proceed to selecting through the available points. And you'll notice that as I do so, the, poly, the spline doesn't always pass directly through the point. So every uh, succeeding point selected and the preceding point has, has an effect on the overall position of the spline as it relates to the control points selected. After completing your spline, it should look similar to what you're seeing here on the screen. The next thing that we're going to do is create a couple of ellipses using two different methods. So let's first switch to the pavilion layer. And then on the draw toolbar, click the ellipse command and simply select the nodes as shown and the ellipse is drawn. Switching now over to the fountain layer, we're going to repeat the ellipse command, but this time we're going to use a different option. So selecting the command and then choosing center on the prompt menu, we'll select the center node and then the two nodes representing the end of each axis. And this completes the lesson on splines and ellipses in BricsCAD. 